What is happening guys? How are you doing? Welcome to another video. This weekend I've been getting a lot of trainers, man. I'm not giving you guys a rest. I'm gonna keep coming with the shoes and shoes. I'm the plug, remember I'm the plug, yeah? So if you want any shoes, and also if you wanna um, check my Instagram, it's sneaker underscore enterprise underscore. I've got some crazy content on there based on shoes, hype stuff, clothing, everything that you want, right? So today we're doing a review on these Jordan ones. These are very special, very bourgeois, very extravagant, very uh, opulent Jordans. I think a lot of people actually slipped on these shoes because I think there's probably a lot of stuff from Yeezy and the other Jordan bloodlines. So these shoes kind of came at the wrong time, I believe. If they'd actually waited, I think it probably uh, a week before, maybe or say two weeks before, maybe last month, these shoes I think would have been proper hyped. Managed to secure a pair, shout out to Size Metro Center. So these are called, um, it's a French name, so I'm, bear with me, I'm not French. So yeah, they're called the um, Mason Chateau Rouge. I'll try the French pronunciation. Mason Chateau Rouge. You know what I'm saying, my friends? Je m'appelle Abbé, s'il vous plaît. I'm just gonna stop messing around. And without further ado, guys, we're just gonna, yeah, take the shoe apart. So you get the red box. This is part of the, this is part of the Fearless collection, I beg your pardon. So you get the red box as well, which is also synonymous with the other Fearless Jordans that I've got. And then, so you get the special raping, wrapping paper. I was, you know, wrapping paper. That's how you pronounce it. Wrapping paper. Okay. English is my first language, so, you know. So you get this, like, lovely wrapping paper. It says, limits like fears are often an illusion. Yeah, so, again, that's the same message which Jordan likes to, to give across to people. Then you get the same card as my other fearless Jordans. Limits are like fears. Sorry, limits like fears are often just an illusion. Then you get MJ's signature over there. Then it says fear crossed out. And so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you the Air Jordan Mead, the Mason Chateau Rouge. Chateau Rouge. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm gonna enjoy talking about this shoe quite a lot. Trust me, yeah? I'm gonna enjoy talking about this shoe quite a lot. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shoe. Right, let's just get rid of anything which is not necessary for this review, such as these boxes. I'm gonna place you guys over here so you can see my handsome, beautiful face. And boom, let's go. All right then, guys, I'm back. What do you guys think? I mean, look at it. Just take a second to just look at all these colors and how all these colors go together. Just soak the details. Look at the details. Look at the different leather, different patterns, the heel. I mean, look at the laces. I mean, the attention to detail here is super, super amazing. Even the other laces that are inside here as well. So you've got a brown lace. It's got the same color ends as this, which matches the shoe itself. Some people can say this shoe makes a lot of noise. It's not for them. Well, that's your own opinion. I think this shoe is fantastic. Not for this season, probably for summertime, spring, summertime vibe. I say this shoe is a shoe that I'll probably wear maybe if I'm going to, going on a yacht or, you know, going on a boat ride, or maybe, I don't know, probably going to a carnival. Or, you know, but you might want to be careful that someone doesn't step on your, on your shoes. Right, so we're gonna open everything, take these out. Right, okay. Right, guys. So you get this uh, a very, I'd say, I wouldn't say it's rough, but it's, it's not really a fine leather on the inside. It's like a lemon sort of yellow. Then you get the baby blue on the outside as well. The thing was with the leather, it's got some different patterns on it. So for example, in this one, you've got like, it's, it's like a six at the same time and it goes all the way. And then you've got the different colors on the heel itself. So you've got like a, a white and then you've got this yellow over here. It's like a lemon yellow. I like that detail. And then when you come onto, onto the side part, 
you got this sort of like dark brown and it's got triangles on it which is a very very nice unique thing i think it emphasizes the brown on itself compared to the other parts so remember the blue's got sort of like the sixes or oh, i'll probably say it's more of an s than a six and then so you move on to the tick itself which is a brown color but um this brown has got some wavy patterns inside and then you've got the same color theme as the lip but then however when you then look at the lace holder it's a bit of a sort of darker sort of it picks up on the hill on the bottom of the hill or the sole it picks that same color and it brings it up so it separates all these colors yeah and then when you come to the top here obviously you've got this blue over here this baby blue then you've got the air jordans the air jordan wing which is uh, a brown color but they still got some elements of blue in there i love that detail and then we're going to focus on this part over here and the top part as well these are very fine very soft leather which i really love and this color is a different sort of yellow now all the artist students out there just drop down in the comments below uh, what each color is called i don't know um there's i'm sure like a an artist phrase for matching these different colors together and then you've got some red stitching just behind behind over there and then oh look at this i like this it then says obviously the name of the shoe itself mason chateau rouge rouge <laughs> and then the inside as well is pretty much the same pattern as the outside as well and then let's focus on the let's focus on the uh, on the what's it called this on the lip yeah so the lips got sort of a i don't know if it's an off-white color it's it's got sort of a under the light it comes across a bit of a a bit of a green like a, a tint of a green on top of it then you've got the air jordan sign over there in a yellow and then the air jordan itself is actually like do you know what? Forget the color thing, yeah? But one thing I like about the lip on this one, it's got the red stitching on the top there as well. I mean, stitching usually comes, um, you know, with sporty cars with the interior, which has got this sort of stitching on the seats. So I think this carries a very, like, um, sporty, um, very sporty, very personal, very customized type of feature going on with the shoe. And then the inside. That's what's happening on the inside. So you've got obviously fear crossed out. Then you've got the same theme of the yellow and the brown. But then I also like the inside because it's a different color. It's a sort of a brown, like a light sort of khaki brown. So if you've got black socks, you know, which are quite cheap, guys, I wouldn't say wear this shoe because then the black's going to stop moving on to there, which is not really a good look at all. What do you guys think of this shoe? I really love this shoe. It's not my size, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have copped my size. Oop. As I was saying, it's not my size. Otherwise, I would have copped this shoe. It's a very beautiful shoe. It's a very, um, it's a very posh shoe. I mean, if you look at Chattel's, Chattel's are like big houses that are, you know, very massive and very opulent as well. And when you look at his shoe, this shoe gives you that opulency, which other Jordans don't really give you. For example, I'll pick one of the shoes from my uh, collection. A normal Jordan 1 high, and then we shall compare with this shoe as well. Yeah, just for reference. Oh, fantastic. I have just got this shoe for this review. Right, so this is a, a first class flight. It's a bit dirty. This is a first class flight. Obviously, it's a bit bigger. Now, if you look at the details on this shoe, it's very simple. It's just, you know, white and, and yellow, basically. There's nothing fancy as such. It's a bit busy on there as well. The materials on this are just normal, typical Jordan materials. But the materials on here are more special. The more, the more customized. So this is more of a luxury sort of shoe. I would expect this shoe like is a collaboration between a, a luxury f fashion house and Jordan. And then from Jordan themselves. But I like the design language. I like where they're going with this. It's a very beautiful, beautiful shoe. So guys, just give me a second while I put this back. So anyways, just drop down your comments below guys what you think of this shoe. If you think this shoe is beautiful, if not, let me know why. 
And just want to say thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.